Hey YouTube and homeschoolers, let me ask you a, a simple question. Will your homeschool be closed this summer? Now, I don't know if you have thought this through, but as I've mentioned before, if you want to get rich, if you'll study what poor people do and do the opposite, it's probably a good move. Well, if you're not exactly a fan of public school, you might want to see what they do and do the opposite. You know, public school, private school, notoriously takes summers off. Where in the world did that come from? Well, as an agrarian society, it came from the need for people to go home and work on the farm, as it were. And so the summers were dedicated sort of to that dynamic, going back home, helping with the family farm, etc., so that life could go on. You're supporting the family, but you're gone a good portion of the year. So that's the game, and then it just became codified, you know, it became law and standard. So teachers are paid, you know, with summers off. I mean, the scale works out, but that was one of the allures of teaching, and just over time it developed this history. The question wasn't, though, what's good for the kid? That's about the family, the teachers, the society, something else. But what about the learner? Like, really, do you need a break from learning? Is that the way education works? Uh, I can tell you, that is not. And what happens when you take the summer off, then that's why the math books, let's say, for example, about a fourth of the year, maybe more, in the math book is reviewed from the previous year. Because over the summer, what you can do if you don't do any math is forget it. It, it goes away without practice and without use. Now, I'm going to argue that most things are that way. And so if you're caught in a world where you think, oh, i got to take a break for the summer. I need it for me, I need it for the kids and all the rest. I want to challenge you to rethink that. If you would steady your system properly, it wouldn't be exhausting to you. Not, not, not what you think. And us having um, brought up uh, five kids in homeschool all the way to college, I can tell you, is much easier, including the summers, for us because it allowed us to take breaks and adjustments throughout the year. We weren't in a panic to finish something for the summer. We're just ongoing, letting them go at their pace. That's why Brooks finished uh, calculus the day before his, or the day of, I think, his 15th birthday, because he was allowed to go at his pace. Uh, at least have a reading game plan. At least uh, have reading throughout the summer. At least that skill. But I would suggest, even if you tone it down maybe half the amount, some math, some reading, some writing, day in, day out, sure, vacation, etc., cetera, uh, is fine. Uh, one of my kids recently said to us, by the way, who does homeschool on vacation? What was that about? And I said, you're welcome. Because what happened was they continued to develop, continued to grow, didn't slip behind, didn't, catch up, didn't have to catch up, and their confidence stayed up. I'm going to tell you, you want to do something this summer. Otherwise, follow the public school, but don't expect a different kind of result. Hey, I hope this helps. If you think this is useful, pass it along. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. It... Uh, it cheers us on. Thanks.